So today we're going to talk about the doors to your radiation vault. Now, what are the weakest parts of the door? How can you fix it? What are the sizes of the door with the layers? Now, what 18 or 418X, what is the dose rate one meter from the target? How do you get max neutron dose at the door? How do neutrons interact with BPE and concrete? And what energy does neutron production start? And how much does it increase from 15 to 18X? So to begin, what are the weakest parts of the door? So let's visualize this where say we have a wall right here and we have the door and say that's uh, for example, something like right here. So this is the door. So as you can see, when these two meet, there, there is some overlap, certainly, but right here, if radiation, if you had a, a beam of radiation coming through here, this is the path of least resistance and where less of it is going to be attenuated. So now how do we fix that? What we can do is increase the overlap between the door and the wall. You can also add a lead and BPE layer to the wall. Now, what sizes of what are the sizes of the door and layer? So ultimately, what we have is a I'm going to say 0.25 inch steel layer because we're going to have a steel casing. Then you are going to have a three inch lead sheet. You are then going to have 11 inches of BPE. Then you're going to have another three inches of lead. Then you're going to have your 0.25 steel casing again. And so what that ends up equating to is about uh, 17 and a half inches of total width. So it's important definitely to know these layers, but also, and we have a separate video about that as well, which you can review, but know the layers, know why we have the layers, for example, the recoil neutrons, the gammas that are created, why there's a lead after the BPE. But ultimately, no, about 20 inches is a door. Uh, you know, it's easy. We see these doors every day. But ask how thick they are. Sometimes you don't really think about it. You don't notice. And then when they ask it in the exam, uh, either you freeze up or you forget and you, you don't realize, okay, 10 inches is about that width, but really it's about 20. So for 18X, what is the dose rate one meter from the target? This unfortunately is just memorization, but I think it's some numbers that are beneficial when it comes to shielding and radiation safety is 1.5 MR per gray approximately here. And how would you get max neutron dose at the door? So when you are doing shielding for a new linear accelerator, you want to see at the door, what is the worst case scenario for getting neutron dose? And you want to ensure you aren't going to exceed that limit that is there. And so what you want to do are close the jaws and you want to put the gantry head toward the door. That is going to make the absolute most amount of neutrons at the maze wall and the door, and that's what you're going to want to do. Now, how do neutrons interact with BPE and concrete? So these hydrogenous materials thermalize the neutrons, slowing them down via elastic scattering. That is extremely important. And what energy does that start? That is going to be 10x. And from 15 to 18x, believe it or not, there is a increase of 60% in neutron production. Now, something else, kind of little things that remember, or if you can remember, I think are very good and show that you have done shielding, you know the numbers, and you can be very practical and tangible with understanding shielding. So neutron dose is increases 75% when the jaws are closed compared to when they're open. So the jaws really play a major factor in neutron production. Uh, then the TVD, let's talk about that real quickly. And this will be the last thing. That is going to be 
for a maze five meters. So for each five meters, that reduces a dose by 10 for neutrons. So when you're talking about a maze and what's the benefits of the maze being long or having a lot of bends in it, for neutrons, for every five meter, you are decreasing the dose by 10, which is very significant. And that ultimately could save a lot of money in you may not need this thick of a door. But this is important to know for radiation safety. Very well could be asked on your part three exam. If you have any other further questions, please comment below. I'm happy to help where I can. Best of luck studying.